Okay, this week's Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search this week? Adafruit. Okay, so this week we're going to look at uh, RF capacitor kits. Um, it's a handy thing, which I don't have, and so I was actually looking for one today anyways to purchase. Uh, so let's go to the overhead. Um, so I was chatting with Unexpected Maker about the ESP32 S3, and uh, one of the things they, they mentioned is, um, you know, that they're sending us these new boards, the ones that we put in, that have um, a better RF um, Pi network. And um, it actually gave me a hint to understand why my ESP32 QD Pis weren't working. Um, I thought that it was, uh, the RF signal was too strong, but it actually turns out I think the Pi network is mistuned. Um, and he mentioned like, oh yeah, you know, I just have to kind of try a couple different values and do some math and do some analysis and use a VNA. Um, which I'm totally into, but um, before you you hook up your VNA, um, and after you know after doing the math and and while you're doing the VNA tuning, what you want to do is be able to swap out um, the Pi network, which is usually made up of uh, inductor and two capacitors, and the inductor and the two capacitors are like very small values and they're very precise. Usually the capacitors are like one to four picofarads, uh, maybe five picofarads, and the um, inductor is usually a, like a nano Henry or two or three. So Having a kit, because you want to try multiple values, and the capacitors can have some variation, um, so you're not going to get try like 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, because you know, it's going to be plus or minus 0.25 picofarad anyways, uh, variation per, per uh, component and um, on the PCB and, and depending on, you know, humidity and stuff. Um, but you, you do want to try very close values and, and, and see if you can tune um, your antenna and your network as, as close as possible. So um, having a, you know, you could buy strips of cut tape, but it's better if you can just um, get the uh, um, a kit that gets you all of them. So why don't you go to the computer in that way, I? Sure. I'm going to go to the computer in just a sec. Sorry. Got a bunch going on today. That's right. Okay, that's, but that's why I can, I can go to here yeah. and here. You can keep on top of your stuff. Um, so uh, I just searched for capacitor kit. Oh, so this is the, the NPI, so cool radar. Um, so DigiKey has a bunch of resistor and uh, capacitor kits um, available, both uh, through hole and surface mount. Um, this time I'm just gonna look for the capacitor kit and um, there's a couple things that I'm going to be looking for. So first up, uh, let's go only for active and um, in stock right now because I'm only going to buy one and I just want to buy whatever, you know, I want to make sure they have it. Um, I want to make sure it's an SMT component. I don't want through hole because I want, you know, the small capacitors. They have, you know, electrolytic cap kits that are like, you know, every big value uh, or ceramic. Um, next up, um, so the capacitance range is a little bit tough. Uh, to go through. I mean, I definitely don't want these larger ones, um, but it's also like they're kind of intermixed, like there isn't a start and end. So what I did instead is first I went to um, the package uh, and I don't want a package range. I only want 0402 because um, 0402 is, is a very common, small enough to not have, you know, size effects, but um, large enough that you could hand solder them if you wanted to. Uh, some people use a 603, that's also fine. I tend to use a 402 for RF um, signal stuff. Don't forget that there is the Imperial is a 402, which means the metric is 1005. And um, by selecting that small size, it actually limited the ranges already because it's like you're not going to get, you know, a 10 microfarad cap in, in a 402. Um, and then with tolerance, um, what I normally would want is um, to only pick uh, C0, G, or NP0 uh, tolerance, but they don't have that here, and so they do this by, like, percentages and stuff. So what I want is pretty much anything that's, you know, I don't want it to be 20%. It should be 0.25% uh, or less um, tolerance variation. And now I can actually look at... Uh, the capacitance ranges. So they have one that's uh, 0.05 picofarads to 0.075, that's too small. They have 0.1 to 22, which is kind of small, but that's still within my range. I want kind of, I want kind of like one to 10. 
Um, this range looks good. This one's too big, and this one starts too high. So, you know, this, these, are, these two are too low, and these two are too high. So, like, this is a, a nice start. So let's apply and see what's available. So there's a couple of ones available. Um, not surprisingly, there's ones that are from each company. So um, Murata, um, you know, makes a kit uh, point, you know, it's C0G, you can see in the photo, 0.1 picofarad to 5 picofarad. Um, that's a nice looking kit. Um, I actually thought that um, there's a couple kits I thought that were nice, but this, this one was not too bad. Um, it had some, it, it kind of has a mix of both um, small, like I like doing the look over because you can see it goes from 0.2 picofarad, 0 0.3, 0.5, 0.7, 0.9, 1, 1.2, 1.5, 1.8, 2, 2.2, 2.4, 2.7, 3, 3.6, 4.3, 4.7, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, you know, so it's like it's kind of like larger. Um, goes to 30 picofarad. Um, this one has many, many more values. It has like every 0.1 or 0.2 value up to 6.8 picofarad. So this is actually um, the kit I ended up thinking I'm going to get. Another thing about this kit that I like is it only goes up to 6.8 picofarad. And I tend to be dealing with 2.4 gigahertz, which is like the range I want. Um, what I would first do, if you're not sure, if you're using other frequencies, look at a common Pi network for that antenna, like 50 hertz-ish, and see what the range of capacitor values are, because you might need um, larger caps as you go to lower frequencies. Um, these are all good kits. Um, you know, some are going to be, like this one also looks really great. This one's a, a DigiKey brand one from Tayo Yudin. Um, 25 values, 10 pieces each. Um, 10 pieces is a, is a smallish number, I think, just in case you're, you're doing a lot of... Um, soldering and desoldering because like honestly the 402s like I kind of lose half of them like I grab them with my tweezers and they fly off so that said uh I think this one's a good one S -O S402 TS so I'll pick this one um grab one of these and then I'm going to use this as I uh, uh tune this Pi Network on the ESP32 Pico all right and that is this week's great search